One thing I forgot to include in my last haul video was I also got the global tape from Seven Gypsies. So this is three different rolls. Um, it's the tissue tape. Let's see if I can get it to show up. There it is. Global by Seven Gypsies. And so in this particular tutorial I'm just going to show how I color um, tissue paper and tissue tape. So what I did was I had bought those packages of tissue paper from Seven Gypsies and I just crumpled them up and I had torn off some sections. So this is from the Life and this is the one from the Numero collection. So um, I'm going to just color these different colors. Now when Tim Holtz does his demonstration, he um, shows it with his alcohol inks um, to get a very vivid color. If you want a lighter color, you can use his Distress inks. But for this particular album, I really like the, um, the very strong colors. So I'm going to be using the alcohol inks on my particular demonstration. Now, what did I do with my tool? This is what happens when you have too much going on on one table. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So on my Tim Holtz Distress Tool, I'll put one piece of felt. And you can just lay it down real well. <clears throat> and you don't have to use just one color. So I'm choosing to use the Tim Holtz Alcohol Inks. The particular colors I'll probably use for this is Stonewashed. Meadow, Caramel, and Rust. I just really like the intensity that um, the alcohol inks bring. Now if you want it a little bit lighter, because I'm sure I'm not going to want to use full strength on this, I will add the alcohol blending solution to it as well. See, there it is. The Adirondack Alcohol Blending Solution. This helps clean off your mat um, it also lightens the alcohol colors so they're not quite as strong on your project. So I will do one sheet of tissue paper at a time since I don't want it to bleed through to my other layers. The first one, I'm just going to use a little bit of blue and I think a little bit of the caramel. Now you can see, you can still kind of see through the papers, but it has a nice color to it and texture. <clears throat> so the next one I'm going to do is the number one. And this one I'm going to do with a little bit of different colors. You don't necessarily have to change your ink pad. You don't have to necessarily change your felt between colors if you don't want to. Um, especially since this project is all the same, it doesn't really matter to me if some of the colors blend. Um, but these colors are going to be <coughs> different. I'm going to use the rust and the meadow now. Um, but since that other alcohol is pretty much gone, it won't matter.
<clears throat> now that blending solution is pretty strong. So, now you can see this is the second page. Again, it's still, you know, kind of see-through, but has a little bit of additional color to it and character. And if you want to make sure it's blended real well, you can again crumple it up again. And so now I'll be tearing these into strips so that I can layer them onto my collage. Um, so you can see it's not, um, you can still see the numbers, but it's not too dark that you can't see, but it's just enough so it adds a bit more color. And so you can see how they kind of complement each other now with the blues and the greens and the rusts, and they'll all look very nice on top of the journal that they composed down. Now I'm going to use my Mod Podge to layer the tissue paper onto the cardstock of the journal. I've shown this in my previous videos, but sometimes my lid gets a little bit stuck. So I will use my heat tool and just lightly heat it so that I can take the lid off. So you'll see your craft mat will get pretty dirty, but that's okay. The um, glue just washes right off. Nothing will stick to this mat. The glue will wash right off and the alcohol solution stuff will take care of all the alcohol inks on there. So for the back cover, I'm just keeping it pretty simple. It's just going to be one layer of these words, I think. We'll see how it goes in time.
Okay, so here the cover is dried. This is the front cover and then the back side of the front cover. And um, so you can see the tissue paper really has a lot of color um, from the inks and they've blended really well. So all of those are in there and now it's going to be the important part where I'm going to put holes in with the cinch so I'll have a tutorial on that um, but this is where I will start layering but before I do all this work of layering and building that cover um, I'm going to ink the edges of these pieces to blend them in better um, I want to make sure I have my holes in here properly first. So how I put the holes in it is going to be a separate tutorial since I haven't done a tutorial on the cinch yet.